And good morning, boys and girls, and mummies and daddies, and grandpappies and grandmummies. Oops, grandmummies and grandpappies. Um, today's story is about all the things that they did, well, at least some of the things that they did while they were over to see Princess Hannah. And, and I have to start first by saying, ladies that's watching, I found out how that you can tell if you have aged. And that secret to finding out if you've aged is to try on your very last shade of lipstick that you used. I've been using so much uh, of the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the lotion that you rub on it, but it's called lipstick, and I can't think what the name of it is now, but you know what I'm talking about, that um, I don't think I like this look anymore. Okay, now that I've vented out, that has been said, so let's get on with our story. Okay, so, boys and girls, um, uh, I asked them what they had been doing, you know, to have fun. And they said that they, oh my gracious sakes, they went to see a museum and it had everything about all the kings and queens that had been king and queen in that country. Mm. I forgot how I said it yesterday, Mo, Mo I, I It's one of the hardest things for grandma to try to wrap her teeth around. I tell you right now, I can't do it. Anyway, there was statues of the, some of the queens and some of the kings that came before uh, Princess Hannah's mama. There was uh, portraits done by famous painters of all these people. Oh my goodness gracious, there was clothes that the queens had worn. There was a special room where the, the gown that the queens wore for their inauguration. I don't know if they call it inauguration over there. Um, you know, you have to wear a crown and things like that, and you get tapped on the shoulder by a big sword and all that kind of stuff. Well, the dresses that they wore those days, okay? So then they all went. It, the, the Queen Mama had, she really had all this planned out. She had something for them to do every morning. And then the, the afternoon, they could do whatever they wanted to. Well, excuse me, um, that left the mamas and daddies that came, that left them free all day long to do whatever they wanted to. They could talk with the queen. They could uh, sit in the royal audience while she took care of business. And that was an interesting day. That was every Wednesday. That was an interesting day because she solved all the problems of anybody who came to court. So um, the boys and girls were put on a, on a bus that the queen owned and there was uh, three ladies that went with them, and she would tell them about where they were going to go, or they, they would tell the children where they were going to go and what they were going to do. And they were there to help them if they didn't know how or, or if anybody got hurt or sick or anything like that. Well, they went to a... Um, a, a, a program that was a lot of singing in it. It was a little play, but it had a lot of singing in it. Well, Moldavia, Moldavia um, has their own language. You're laughing at me. I can see that right now. They have their own language, and so it was kind of hard to know what was going on in this play, <laughs> I'm sorry, but the ladies, <clears throat> the ladies um, translated to the children what was going on in the play, and it was a real cute play. Hold on. Um, they, um, they had a good time, 
and they went out for ice cream and cake later. Well, that was a real good time. You know, you know how those piggies like their ice cream. So then one day they went to a, um, <laughs> this is kind of funny now because it's wintertime over there, just like it is here. And they went for a water slide to play in the water. But you know what this was? This was a great big huge building with a water slide in it. So the water was warm and the building was warm and oh, they had such a good time. Well, that's kind of like America. So um, Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly that night, they went to talk to Mr. Farmer Brown and they said, Mr. Farmer Brown, we went on a water slide yesterday and it was really great, but you know, we can do that at home. And he said, yes, he said, you can, but he says, you're probably the only American children that can say they did it over in Moldavia. Well, okay, the boys thought about that, and they said, well, I, I guess that's true. So the next day, they took the boys and girls. That was when they went to buy all of their things that they were going to take home that day. And then another day, the queen herself went with them, oh boy, and so did Princess Hannah. She, in fact, she went on most all the trips, and they had a picnic. Now, here again, it's too cold for a picnic, but you know what the queen mama did? She is, she is so, so smart. She had... She had a place picked out, and her servants, her butler and, and, and some of his servants, they went out ahead of time, and they had tables. So you didn't have to sit on the ground. You could sit on the bench, on the table, and they had big heaters all around the circle where this picnic was going to take place. It was the prettiest thing. It, I mean, this the, the the big heaters are beautiful. They look like a, a big triangle, like a big uh, a lighthouse or something. And they're all, you know, lit up because the, the warm air is coming out. Oh, she had them all around in a big circle. Now, isn't that neat? Well, then another time, this was the good time. And this was, I think, the last visit or the last day, you know, the day before they left. Princess Hannah said, hey guys, how many know how to ski? Well, I don't know why she asked that. She knew they were from Florida and hardly anybody knows how to ski unless they've lived up north and none of these kids lived up north. Mrs. Farmer Brown used to ski and Miss Amanda said, well, I think I can ski. I think I did it a couple of times when I was little. <sighs> It was funny. They went down what they called the bunny slopes because they're for the little kids. And little Sally, a skunk, she, bless her heart, she had to help take care of Sister Sadie because you know Sister Sadie is just a little bit wee tiny thing like this. And she's just, you know, she's just, she only weighs three pounds now. She gained that third pound. So poor Poor Sally, she didn't get much in, in fun out of it, but she did get to go a couple of times because you know why? Little Bad Wolf came. He was wearing his overalls, and he just popped her down in his bib of his overalls, and he had her nice and warm, and she could peek out, and she didn't have to do any kind of skiing. That was even a better idea. So Sally says, Oh, Little Bad Wolf, thank you so much. And so Allie the alligator told Little Bad Wolf, well, now if you get tired, I got my overalls on too. So I can put Sadie down the front of my bib and I can take care of her and keep her warm too. And Little Bad Wolf says, well, why don't we take turns? Every half hour, we'll trade Sadie over to the other person. Well, Sadie just thought that was so much fun. She's just got to go and peek out of everybody's overalls. And she was just looking around and she could go down the hill with the boys without even even trying. Now, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Okay? Well, 
Allie the alligator went down a couple of small hills and he had a good time and he did pretty good. The ski instructor said, well, your name is Allie, right? And he said, yes, sir, it sure is. And he says, well, you know what? He said, I'm surprised a Florida boy like you can go down this hill in these skis. He said, I'm just really proud of you. He says, you did a great job. So Allie the alligator kind of wanted to show off in front of the girls. And he said, well, you got a little bit bigger hill for me to go down? Well, the ski instructor, the ski teacher said, well, we do, but I don't know if you're ready for it or not. Allie the alligator says, well, of course I am. Of course I am. Well, in the meantime, the three little pigs, they were having such a good time. They went down the skis and, and down the hill on the skis. And, and sometimes, you know, they, they, they were a little afraid. And sometimes they made mistakes, but they got down the bottom of, to the bottom of the, of the hill. Well, they got a bobsled. They all got into it. Oh, that was fun too. And so they were back and forth on their skis and on their bobsleds going down that same hill because they knew they could do that hill. They didn't try to get a bigger hill like the alligator was trying to. So he's still talking to the ski instructor and he's saying, I think I can go down that hill. I really think I can. So the ski instructor said, well, the only way, the only way, Allie Alligator, that you can go down that hill is to have somebody go with you. So I am going to go with you myself, just in case anything happens, okay? Because if anything happened to you, if you hit a tree... Or if you got into a snowbank and got covered with snow, we wouldn't know it. And by the time that we would find out, it might be kind of bad. So I'm going to go with you. Well, poor Allie the alligator, he was kind of disappointed because, you know, he, 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 well, he wanted to show off in front of the girls. And it kind of hurt his feelings that he had to have a babysitter go down the hill with him. But you know what, boys and girls? It was a good thing that he had somebody with him. Because he got about halfway down and something tripped him. I don't know how he fell. The ski instructor said he didn't know how he fell either. F fall? Fell? Mm fell either. Come on, you'll get it straight. So, he fell. And you know what? He couldn't get up because his leg hurt. So, the ski instructor whipped out his telephone. Thank goodness he had his cell phone with him. And he called for a backup. And he said, I think you need to bring um, a sled bring bring something to put Allie on because he can't get up he can't use his leg we got to take him to the doctor right away oh poor Allie he was so he was so afraid he was afraid to go to the doctor because he didn't like shots and his leg really did kind of hurt he didn't know how come it was hurting but he kind of looked down at his leg and it was kind of crooked Oh boy, what happened? In the meantime, little bad wolf, he's the funniest little thing. He's so sweet. He was, he was kind of like the piggies. He didn't want to go down another hill that he didn't know about. He knew that Allie the alligator had disappeared and he knew that one of the ski instructors went with Allie. He was content to go down this one hill called the Little Red Robin Hill because it kind of went diddy bump, diddy bump, diddy bump, but it was real small little bumps. And he could go down that. There was a, a smooth and a bump and a smooth and a bump. 
and a smooth and a bump. So it was pretty neat, neat to go down. Well, the last time he went down the hill, he was standing there getting ready to go back up, waiting for the lift chair, or the chair lift, I should say. And here comes the ski instructor with a couple of medics on a, with a sled with Allie the alligator on the sled. Oh, what happened? So little bad wolf ran over to see Allie. He says, Allie, what's wrong? What happened to you? And Allie the alligator says, I don't know, but my foot's crooked, so I don't know what happened. Oh, dear. So the little bad wolf says, I need to go tell our, our three ladies that take us different places so that they can call... Um, Allie the alligator's mama and papa. And so the ski instructor says, well, you just do that. You hurry up and you go find the ladies and you tell them. Okay, so they did, uh, Little Bad Wolf did. He went and told the ladies and oh my goodness gracious, they got, oh my heavens above, they got so upset because, you know, if, if it was really bad, why the queen mama would might be in trouble and, and and you know they wouldn't like her anymore and oh my gracious sakes it was just it was a big best of confusion oh it was terrible so they decided since it was four o'clock already to go ahead and call the kids and get them in and take them back to the castle before anybody else got hurt when on the meantime the ambulance was taken um Allie the alligator to the to the town hospital and of course since the three ladies called mama queen well then she got a hold of <clears throat> excuse me she got a hold of um uh what's her mother name alice alligator and alvin alligator his father and she told him where the where the a hospital was but they wanted the driver to take him because he just didn't want to drive on those roads it was they were pretty bad and so the off they go with their chauffeur to the hospital they got there about the same time that the ambulance got there so they went in with Allie the alligator and the medic signed him in and the doctor comes out to look at him and he's touching his leg and he's touching his foot and he says Allie how did you do this and Allie the alligator hung his head and he said because I wanted to go down the other hill because it looked like it was more fun and my ski instructor Mr. Bobby over here says that I shouldn't go down it but I talked him into it and so I guess I couldn't go down it What's wrong with me? What did I do? He was so sad. He was crying. Allie the alligator is a big boy for seven years old, and he's a strong boy. And he always, he always helps all the rest of the kids whenever they need something they can't reach or they can't lift up. Allie the alligator says, I'm here, I'll do that. Well, he was kind of sad. And he was afraid he was going to get in trouble from his mama and his daddy. And Queen Mama, he was afraid she was going to really get mad at him. So he was kind of scared. Well, the doctor says, this is not the first one that has come in here. Not the first boy and girl that's come in here and thought they could do something. Whether it was skiing down the mountain or whether it was whatever. Cooking or carving or uh, swimming. He said, I get boys and girls in here all the time. He said, you, my little boy, strange little boy that you are, you have broken your leg. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They had to put what they call a boot on him. Now, you know, a boot is over their foot and up their leg. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness they had one to fit. So, Mrs. Miss Alice Alligator said to the doctor, she says, well, um, that boot you put on him, 
we're leaving on the airplane tomorrow to go back to Florida. So do we bring this boot back to you or do we get one when we get to Florida or what do we do? And the doctor smiled and he says, no, 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 no. He says, these are part of my, of, of what you're going to pay for today. And he says um, that it's all taken care of. So you leave this on for a whole week and then you go to the doctor where you live. And Alice Alligator says, well, we live outside of Tampa. So there's always good doctors in Tampa. And I know just the right doctor to go to because he runs an orthopedic hospital. Oh, the doctor said, you know, I think I've heard of that man. He said, he's been over here to visit me and showed me a couple of new things to do. He said, you got a good doctor there. You make sure you go and see him. Well, they get back to the castle and poor little bad wolf, I'm sorry, Allie the alligator, he's embarrassed now, you know, in front of his friends, he's embarrassed. But they all told him, don't worry, because they were kind of looking at that hill and they all wished that they, they could go down it. Nobody had the nerve to ask the skiing instructor if they could go down. Only Allie the alligator had the, had the nerve to ask that. So, Mama Alice, alligator, she went to see the queen, to, sh to tell the queen mama how um, everything was with, with Allie. And she said, uh, Mama Queen, when we got to the office to pay our bill, um, they said the bill was already taken care of, but they wouldn't tell us who. We need to find out because we need to pay whoever, you know, paid for Allie because we were going to pay for Allie. And the Queen Mama, she just smiled so sweet and pretty because that's what she does. She's a very nice lady. She said, she patted poor little Alice on the, on the shoulder and she gave her a hug and she says, now, Mrs. Alligator, you don't owe a penny because we paid for it. Princess Hannah wanted to make sure that he was okay, and so we paid for your bill. We paid for everything, all the medicine that you got and the boot that you got. We paid for everything, and if you would let us, we would like to pay for whatever doctor that you have to go to when you get back home. Well, Mrs. Mrs. Alligator just didn't know what to say about that. She, they were kind of short on money because Mr. Alligator had been laid off uh, a couple of months ago and he hadn't found a job yet. He was laid off of his other job. And boys and girls, that means that they didn't want him to come to work anymore. So she told Mrs. Uh, Mama Queen and Mama Queen says, well, then definitely I'm going to pay for, for Allie when he gets home. You let me do that for you. Well, it was very embarrassing. And Miss Alice Alligator, she says, well, okay. She says, and I thank you. She says, from the bottom of my heart, she said, you're such a kind, kind person. Well, the next day, everybody was packed and the chauffeur, all three limousines came to pick up, well, I'm sorry, four, because now they had even more luggage. I mean, who's, how's that airplane gonna put a canoe on? Thank goodness that it's the Queen Mama's airplane, because it probably wouldn't have been able to put the, air, the canoe on, on the regular airplane, and that happened to be, you remember, Allie's thing he brought at the at the store in the village so it was a good thing they had mama ha mama's queen's airplane well they got to the airport and poor little Allie the alligator he could hardly get in and out of the car he could hardly get hobbled up the steps to the plane oh my goodness gracious it was sad but you know what he got since it was a private plane they had arranged a special long couch for him to sit on so that he could stretch his tail and his legs all out and they wouldn't hurt sitting in a chair. 
Isn't that something? Isn't that something nice for somebody to do? Boys and girls, you should always do nice things for other boys and girls or for each other if you have a sister or a brother. Don't always be mean to them, okay? Don't always make fun of them either. Because that's not nice. Well, that ends our story for today. And I will see you Monday. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, at 2 o'clock. Don't know what our adventure is going to be, whether we're going to go back to school and talk about school or whether we're going to go somewhere. Don't know. Haven't got a clue, but we'll figure it out on Monday, won't we? Okay, you boys and girls have a wonderful time. And I will think of you and see you. And I want to send a special shout out to two very sweet, nice ladies. And their names are, and I don't usually give out names, but their names are Rosie and Elizabeth. And I want to say hi and thank you for watching sometimes. Um, also for Caden and Zach, they always try to watch it. Sometimes they don't get to, sometimes they do. So, hi. This is Aunt Winnie speaking. Hi. And anybody else that's out there. But you know what? If you don't comment, I don't know if you're there or not. How about that? So, can y'all please comment? At least say hi. Okay. That's all. I could talk all night. Bye-bye.